The irresistible force is about to polish off the immovable object. Margaret Houlihan! You nuts! Get out of that, your mind! Is that it? You're barking up the wrong tree! Oh, shit. You know, between decorating the tree with thermometers and radar singing Christmas carols on the PA and a little below nip... Cut the fucking thing. <laughs> Cut it. Oh, shit. The wife needle points. Oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> shit. <clears throat> Captain John, FX McIntyre? Yup. Shit. All right, now you broke up. I'd rather let him down, sir. Oh, shit. Okay, radar here will be housing officer. Before we... Oh, shit. Right. Give me the line, Marty. God well, damn it. Stay off the May we, uh... Put on the man. <laughs> Can we quit fucking around and make a movie? And you. Sir? You little shit. Come on! Oh! Shit, I don't want any trouble. I just want to get laid. <laughs> What's your name, fella? Maxwell, sir. Well, you're going on KP, Maxwell. I am on KP, sir. Oh, a minute, you're coming. Ah, oh, putz. Fans perverted. Oh, shit, I forgot to take the thing out. <laughs> now, you've all just had your own tour, breath, whatever the fuck it is. When all of a sudden on the fucking balcony, there she was. It's a flash, thousands of eyes on me. I'd run across that field and tape old Tank's leg good and tight and run off. 30 seconds to go. Ball snapped to Tank. He fakes off, and I'm screwed up with the fucking dialogue. <laughs> Mr. Ross here. Oh, shit. <laughs> Come on, I need your help. No. Just, God shit. damn it. Come on, just hold it. Jagberg. David Bergman. Sonia Heine. <laughs> uh, sir, uh, this is Major Charles Emerson. Oh, shit, I'm wrong right. You're back a nice surprise. Sorry, Pierce. I don't know, Hawk. Might be a good idea. He could be you fucking. <laughs> <laughs> this calls for somebody who speaks fluent hoi polloi. Cut the goddamn <laughs> was a brave soldier. Saved my people a long time ago. Uh, I'll be back. You got it outside? He's got it written down out there. He'll be right back in. Must go now. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Look, you know what it's like in this war. You've been in it all your life. You know, you've been out there. You know, listen, you, don't you read the papers? Listen to him. He knows. <laughs> sure if you realize this is no longer just good, clean fun. This is full-scale, uh, <laughs> practical jo joking to the finish. Don't you tell me, listen. Listen, don't you tell me, I raised her from a pup. I mean, I know you're a sir, sir, but if you, if you ever go near my animals again, I'll have something to say about that. And it won't be corporal, f oh shit. Then this is serious, she's out there and your guns could hit her, so you better keep your eyes on your, uh, oh. Horizon. Horizon. Would you mind uh, terribly putting a bet on this extravagance? Yeah, 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 a bet, a bet. Yeah, see, uh, Daisy has to support a... You don't know it, do you? No. <laughs> You'll be making gravel at Leavenworth. Comprendi? Comprendo. Good. Well, Major... Oh, shit, I forgot. <laughs> Where can I get some streptomycin? I'm, uh... Uh, forgetting my line. You want mail? Get it yourself. You too. Ah, the postman always sneers twice. I'll get it, Klinger. I'm writing Peggy about your death. Any messages? No, I'll... 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 I'
is your field pack, your Vafangu. <laughs> the field pack. Don't get mad. I heard there were no casualties during my absence. <laughs> there weren't. But what the? God damn it. <laughs> You're wearing a green tuxedo, you dance where they tell you. Oh, but Colonel, perhaps in this case the Army has made an error. Private Conway really doesn't belong in an inch of his face. Unit? Infantry sure. company. Company. <laughs> now, for the last time, Klinger, thank heaven, you come, come, Kling, Klinger, just now, hold, hold, hold. It's kind of primitive, but it'll hold him till the boys in Tokyo can rebuild his cheek. He'll need more than physical attention. I'm afraid that kind of wound goes a lot deeper than the skin. Worse, worse, the enemy didn't do it. Are you going to keep rattling those goddamn instruments? Somebody give him a hand. No, stay where you are. My nose is coming out again. <laughs> what are you doing? What is he saying? Either he's thanking me for saving his life, or he's, uh, he's, uh, he's got uh, Chinese shorts. <laughs> well, it sure looks that way. Even if I'm not, I sure like going better than not going. Last few days, I knew how it felt to be bolder damn. You just take it easy. You still... I can't work with these people. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Colonel Potter, are you ready to take... Could I have missed a bleeder in there? I thought of that. But I'm not a bunch of monkeys. Sure. <laughs> Change that dressing this afternoon, and under no circumstances is he allowed to yodel. <laughs> <laughs> you do understand, of course, that your toe should have nothing to do with any other toes for at least a month. Yes. Sir. Also, don't uh, and be, uh, no, don't uh, don't uh, no. Lift. You convince yourself you can outperform everybody in this camp and not crack under the strain. Well, as a veteran of sleepless nights, irregularity, and no sleep. Let me tell you that... <laughs> you put your foot in the right hand. You'll be doing the Lambeth Walk in no time. Hey, for Pete's sake, somebody swiped our microscope. Oh, that really stinks. Anybody who'd steal a hospital's telescope. <laughs> uh, look, Colonel, the above-mentioned sniper fire is endangering all my personal medical... Per... <laughs> Uh, Colonel Griswold, Captain Pierce, your friend in need, remember? Uh... <laughs> Hello, Colonel Griswold? This is your friend in need, remember? I need that again, sir. <laughs> Colonel Griswold? <laughs> hey, Tosh. Come on, I did the corporal. Do you think that lets Hitler burn? <laughs> Peggy and I at the top of the mark. Her first night out after having the baby. We get home and there's a message. Uh, I'm sorry. Can I start again? <laughs> then one night we're at the top of the mark. Then one. <laughs> then one night. Frank. <laughs> then I got to court martial a dead man for making you murk and eating this murk nerd. Really? <laughs> that is. All right. Oh, it must be very exciting riding around in one of those massive machines with that big cannon going, you know, 